Great Mills, Maryland, Greg Guy. From across the pond, Darren Gilholm. And from Hornell, New York, Sam, one fish, 26. So that came to not actually happening. Hello, everybody. Welcome into Labor Day, September 4th, 2023. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Oh, wait, the curtain's gone. Pay no attention to the mess behind the man behind the curtain. As you can see, that's still Josh's computer that's not working. We'll discuss that in a second. And I didn't put the green screen green back up. I have the Zoom homies here. We have William, Greg, Sam, Jeff. Josh and Chris, real quick, guys, say hello to YouTube so I can verify your audio is working, please. So hello, everyone. Hello, YouTube. Looks like it hello. is. Oh, hello, hello, world. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, uh, real quick announcement, and then I'm going to get busy on this. I got to start a timer because I got to pick Mrs. K up at 10 o'clock. So, I have basically 40 ish minutes before I have to leave. <clears throat> Rick Lake says hello. I'm not going to be monitoring chat all that well again tonight because I want to get this monitor that you'll be able to see in a minute replaced with the new monitor that I have not even unboxed yet. And if I see something, then I can zero in on it tomorrow. Just the latest time of year, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah, we're going to and I'm just going to temporarily set it right here. What could possibly go wrong setting it on the fan? So this is it right here. Insignia 43-inch television that was on sale, $80 off, 119 and some change. That's close enough to the 99 I was waiting on Amazon, so I went ahead and purchased it today. Today was the last day of the sale. So I have it. I'm going to flip it out for the big 55-inch one that's in front of me. Real quick update on Josh's stuff. I haven't checked my email. I ordered the processor last night. It'll be here tomorrow, probably late in the afternoon. Uh, Brian Lightfoot has sent me some things just in case. They too will be here tomorrow, late in the afternoon, because they're coming through the United States Postal Service. And since today's a holiday, if I get it tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. Let's jump right into this and see how bad this goes. You should be seeing the back of my head, the back of my chair, and somewhere up in here, I don't know, the monitor. But that's weird. Oh, I don't have Zoom on here. Oh, yeah, I have Zoom in the lower right-hand corner. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do this. Boy, this will be fun. Well, first things first, I'm going to take out my handy dandy steel knife and I'm going to pop open this box. You're frozen on YouTube. I'm frozen on YouTube? Yeah, you're still facing your monitor. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, well, what's going on with that, I wonder? Let's uh, go in and deactivate the camera. Let's YouTube will go black. Now I'm going to reactivate the camera. And it's not now because... There you go. There we go. So I'm going to get out of the way. You should be able to see the monitor. I don't know why OBS has been doing that, but it's been doing that quite a bit lately. Um... Now you should see the mess and the microphone and everything else. Your TV is fragile. Fragile. It is. What it says, it says it's for Gilly. Must be French. No, Italian. Oh, is that what it is? It says, do not touch this screen. Okay. Oops. I'm touching it. Um, I'll read all that later. <laughs> Anybody want to place a bet on that, whether I read that later or not? I can guarantee you I ain't reading that later. Cute little box. Oh, it comes with stands. I mean, I got to put the stands together, too. 
Mm, maybe oh, I should re rude. maybe I should have rethought this. Uh, let's not prep this and do it straight from scratch. Oh, this will be fun. Where is your help when you need it? Josh, I thought you said you were coming to help me. You can't get good help. You can't get good help these days. People say, oh, sure, I'll help. And then they never show up. Right, Greg? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm the only one that you can count on. <laughs> to not be there. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, I was just going to say that. <laughs> well, why would I think this would go well? Nothing else has gone well this week. Well, I'm going to be careful about where I throw this stuff because at some point in time I have to walk that big TV out of here. Looks like I should have opened this from the bottom, seriously. As uh, it ain't coming out of here, boys. But yeah, that's not coming out. Use your use your feet to hold it. Not that ain't the issue. I don't think. I don't. I honestly, I'm not sure what the issue is. All right, I got my cardboard side now to stand on the street corner. I built Josh a computer. Please help me. <laughs> that's a joke. Everything's fine. Ha ha. Huh. Joshy will pay me <laughs> back, right, Joshy? Yeah. It might be uh, next Tuesday and it'll be a hamburger, but he'll pay me back. It might be evil if you lay a dime on the floor and we go about. Yeah, I tried that. That didn't work. I'll get it. Well, that's it. Drop it. I'm sure, that didn't hurt anything. Is I don't even drop it again. Oh, look, cardboard. You, about it. you can't even get good cardboard. I picked up. <laughs> I have a suggestion. I'm listening. Forget the box. Well, it open. Like I guess I have to return it. You know how. You is, know that how is? is that the thing? Is that is that well, the thing? Kind of model I have in my house. On the at least, you know nicely open it so if you need to super glue it back together you could open one of the sides just carefully open one of the that's super my... glue I'll, I'll thermal paste this back together okay take the box turn it upside down and shake the hell out of it no no no, no. <laughs> so windows right, yeah, i think you got the right idea now ken yep just when push down on the TV in. now and the styrofoam and all that garbage. The new Windows 11 notepad is gravity will word pad, over. Word pad's going away. So, yeah, I know that, but I'm not too happy about that because uh, when Samuel Alex worked on my computer, that probably communicate with me through notepad. Yeah, and I don't know how. Okay, now you still got notepad. You will have notepad. This is WordPad. Oh, there okay. we go. Uh, aha. WordPad is for rich text files. Yeah. And I don't understand how they're going to do that because some of the system files you can open in WordPad. I've seen that. They want you to use Word. Yeah, I know. I think Notepad will always be there. I just wish that notepad would add syntax highlighting. So if you put code in there, it can help. That notepad is for a lot. You can use it for typing. It's good. I, I use notepad all the time, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. I'm not even going to worry about it right yet. 
<clears throat> since getting too concerned. When is this target yeah. date for this to happen? The article I read didn't say a date. It just said it's going to happen. Yeah. No, that's if he get uh, office 2016, it's going to be the last office that they will stop supporting in the 2025 but you still be able to use it. Oh, I it won't get updates for it. Well, I'm glad they provided me a body bag for later. I've been wondering where I was going to buy my next body bag, and now I know. I think the new Windows 11 update is October the 10th. Oh. Um, Don't drop it, Ken. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Body bag. You thought I was kidding. Actually, once I get this, I should have prepped this a little bit. I'm kind of realizing that now. But uh, I got home from golf. Dropped Mrs. K off at work. Took two Advil and laid down and I'm not sure what woke me up because when I told Alexa to cancel the alarm, the Alexa said, okay, the 1115 alarm canceled. And I'm like, oh, good Lord. Not only would I have been late to the stream, I'd have been an hour and 15 minutes late picking her up. I'm not real sure which is worse. Uh, by the way, if she shows up in the, in the chat, somebody let me know, please. Um, no. Okay. Or don't. <laughs> It won't be me because I'm not whopping, Jack. What are you playing, uh, Fortnite? Nope. I played my Fortnite an hour, a couple hours before you got on the air, and that was enough for me. Oh, this is cute. There's a, there's only but one way the legs will go on. That's a that's new. What are these, Phillips head? I guess I should turn the overhead light on. Ah, why do something intelligent like that? Do you know someone named Tim? TikTok lives and shorts official. Yeah. That's, uh, okay. That's the uh, crazy dude, Tim. Do okay. I know? No, I do not know. Was he wanting in chat? No. He's in YouTube chat. He's in, uh, oh, YouTube chat? YouTube chat. Okay. He said, Again, he I apologize. Said, I'm not following you, uh, the chat tonight because oh, that was cute. Dropped a screw already. He says it's Tim. Tim Cruz? No. Tim Soul? No. Official tech, Tim. Oh, yeah, that'd be Tim Cruz. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure I should have I should have prepped this. I didn't think do that too well. I was thinking this would actually go way smoother than it is. What I should have did is prep while I'm prepping this is I should have put zoom in place of this camera. But that would require thinking and uh, if you don't hurry up, I'm gonna fall asleep here. Well, this show has been uh, known to put people to sleep. That's what we're known for. I mean, just ask Chris Garrett, right? Oh, hey, Chris, how you doing? Yeah, I fall asleep too. I can't. Just messing with you. I made you. a joke. I made a joke to Greg, but I can't really say nothing. <laughs> All right, now I gotta find the screw that I dropped, which who knows where that would have bounced to. I don't see it anywhere. When you step on it, you'll find it. I found that out last night when I was taking my original i7 apart. Something fell on the floor and I heard it hit. I kind of glanced around and looked for it and didn't see it. Couldn't find it. Is that computer gonna work anymore? Yes, 
the, this is this is the brand new motherboard, the Asus Z590 Wi-Fi Gundam Edition that Sean Gallagher bought for Joshi. We put in the old two processors that would not get past the DRAM light when it's trying to post. So the consensus is the processor is bad. So processor has been bought. Processor will be here. And we'll go tomorrow night will be what I hope to be the fourth and final. So I just, I just realized something. I don't see a power cord with this. The processor that Sean bought is was bad. The I7. Both the i7 and the i5 were bad. Both. We could not get either. Oh, there it is. Wow, it fell into the styrofoam. What well, luck. What are the odds? I better buy a lottery ticket tonight. Um, um, yeah, I would. <laughs> if you thought that my, I, my mind is boiling, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Did I would tell you what was going on? About? You said that I pulled, I, 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 I popped the middle of the end. And, um, Alex told me to take the AMD computer home. I will when I get back up. And we'll get Pete the $200 here. Okay. That would be Okay. That's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. I got to find the power cord. I don't guess that processor could have made the motherboard. Found the power cord. Yeah. Do what? You don't think that I-5 that you tried first made the motherboard bad, do you? I hope not, Chris. I have no idea. This may come as a big shock to some of you, but I am not a computer technician. I'm not even a hobbyist. I'm not even an enthusiast. Yes, I built just, my computer. I'm with just a lot not, of help. Maybe that's not the case. So, here we go. You guys are going to... Zoom is going <clears> to <throat> disappear... Even if I move the camera, Zoom is still... Well, Zoom won't disappear now. It's just going to be a horrible, horrible view of the behind-the-curtain scenes. Again, pay no attention to that. So, as you can see from on YouTube, the monitor is unplugged. And... That was the easy one to unplug. That was the HDMI. That was the simple one. The next one will be the power. If you're lucky, they're the same power cords. Um. Yeah. What? No, I don't think. I don't think this big Vizio TV has a detachable power cord. I think it is actually part of. The TV itself. The TV itself, yes. Thank you. Uh, that's weird. Most of them are detachable. Well, I bought this TV back in 1800, so back then they weren't sure what they were doing. Oh, okay. You're talking about the big one. Yeah, I'm talking about the big VZO right now that says no signal on YouTube, and I'm not going to try to adjust the camera. It took me 20 minutes to figure out why the image was upside down um cute story it's because the uh camera was upside down go figure that's right francis i had the camera upside down i am so sorry no that was dorito not princess oh, sorry about that taco, taco. what'd you say your name was Dor 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 dorito yeah my cat's name is dorito chip i got no problems with that He's an orange cat. Better than what I'd name him. I can't name. What? I can't say right yeah, now what I would name on... my cat because we are on the air. But you know, just use your imagination. I, I I got some good ideas. Probably probably things I've called my cat in the past. Got it. How am I going to do this? Especially after they tip over a potted plant. That is the worst. 
Notice I don't have any you guys are about to see four foot pair stand in the air here in a minute when I get electrocuted from pulling this plug out. I'm fine. Quick, call 911. Is it not? That's what I keep doing wrong. I keep dialing the wrong number. I've gone it. All right. So, power cord. HDMI is loose. This thing weighs a metric ton. I wouldn't doubt it. the older ones do weigh a ton. Get on! Man, you probably need some help moving that TV. Uh, I've moved it so many times, Chris. Of course, I'm getting older, but um, the only person that could help me would be Mrs. K. And I love her. I care for her. Yeah, the, the new TV, it's built in. Believe it or not, the old Vizio is actually, um, you can actually remove it. So that's interesting that those are backwards. So people don't have to read the manual and know how to plug it in. Yes, I honestly do not know. So it looks like I'm coming, going to have this one up and running in under 25 minutes, which isn't bad considering I did no prep for this. That isn't bad at all. Um, and I won't worry about putting the room back in shape tonight. I'll uh, get that done tomorrow. Well, that was real smart. I thought that was taped on. And it's not. Or is it? Nope, it is not taped. Or is it? What's a manual? A transmission? I don't know. <laughs> Certainly not said instructions. Oh, there is. There, there are a set of instructions. Come on, William, I'm a man. I don't need no stinking instructions. Instructions? Don't you mean destructions? Uh, you mean the things I curse out when it, they don't make any sense? The thing that someone told me I needed to read, and I'm like, she didn't get the joke that I say I don't ever read it? Yeah, I know. Oh, this is going to be interesting because it looks like the cord. Well, you know what? Like I said, this will be part of putting that back tomorrow or later tonight since I slept all damn day. Okay, the camera just reconnected or something just reconnected. Or somebody just reconnected something. Instructions are for women and Alex. All right. I'll put the batteries in said uh, remote. See what happens. There it is. The new 43-inch in place. Now what I could do now to see how well this is going to look is I can bring this monitor up, bring it all the way over there. I can bring this monitor up, bring it all the way over to there. And I got the two on there. That's good. Let me find the remote. Oh, I found the remote. I am just moving along here. <laughs> Anybody seen Mrs. K in chat yet? No, not yet. No. Good. Well, she wasn't sure tonight. Um, she asked a couple noticed, days ago. Do what, Chris? Something I noticed this morning. Your chat was already showing this morning, but usually when your streams are short, it's not showing in the morning. 
Uh, I, you know, that's a YouTube thing, and I've given up trying to figure YouTube out. Jose sent me a message and asked me, why am I starting this at 1 o'clock in the morning? And I'm like, I'm not. Yeah, that, that's a good, that's a glitch, too. Yeah, they, that's well, a... I, I think they fixed everybody. All the messages just disappearing. They fix one thing and something else breaks. Generally the way it goes with computers, is it not? <laughs> Holy cow, they got the they got the old school Greg Guy blind remote. Uh, I would show you, but I don't think it's gonna go across. <laughs> oh. We can see it. Yeah. Not so much uh, on YouTube, though. On Zoom, we can see it. Tim Tech says, guess what, everybody? I got the good news, everyone. So he repeated himself. I'm going to guess it's about his refurbished laptop he's got coming in. Would be my guess. Maybe he got it or is getting it. That's the one that he sent off, isn't it? Yeah, he, he paid for the extended warranty. And... It's going to work out for him. I mean, I don't know how quickly they're going to get that to him. Oh, so they send in him a refurbished. Oh, yeah. He's get well, in his words, it's new, but we're all pretty much thinking it's refurbished. Yeah. Uh, here we go. We'll put the power. Oh, power. Uh, oh, it's got a yellow DRAM light. Oh, my God. Now my TV's messed up. Oh, easy, easy. Choose your uh, menu language. Do I want English, Francais, or Espanol? Hmm. I wanted Filipino. My wife wanted Filipino. I'll go with what YouTube says. What should we go with? Okay, English, sure. Activate voice guide. Oh, good lord. Activate voice guide to provide voice guidance for your menu, volume, channel, program. No, no. You don't want talking to you? I I do not. I have enough trouble with crap as it is now talking to me. Um, now, how do I change? I don't, I'm not on the West Coast as it seems to think that I am. Um... Change it to Atlantic. Yeah, I'm Eastern. working on it. Eastern. Eastern, right? Eastern. Yeah, well, I'm 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 honestly pushing buttons and it's not moving. Um, when I push the arrow right, it goes to previous, and that's not helping. There we go. Oh, you gotta use the up and down arrow. There we go. Um. Well, look, that takes about half of Indiana. That see, that says Eastern, but. I know I'm, yeah, we'll see what happens. Daylight savings time on, sure, why not? I'm sure all this can be. Oh, I'm going to make this either the home use mode or just, I, you know, I've always wanted to have my TVs in store display mode. So there, I, I've achieved something. What do you want to do? Um, I want to skip the options, of course. I'm a man. Uh, catalyze. Okay, now this is interesting in that it's my PC, so I guess we'd go cable satellite box, sure. HDMI. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, HDMI. again, again, I got to figure out which one of these dumb things it is. Let's just hit next and see what happens. Congratulations, you are now done with the setup. Now it's time to watch some TV. Just select exit, press input on your TV's remote to select the right input. HDMI or AV. Use the Kate whatever. Uh, let's say hit exit. We're hitting exit, and it's a black. Do you want channels to be? F no, we do not want to scan for channels. We want this to be HDMI one. And well, how are you going to watch my show? You know, oh, it's this is here we go again, everybody. It's just like last night. This is not good. <laughs> HDMI um, two then. HDMI two. <laughs> Look, it works. It's alive. There we go. And I did that in under 30 minutes. How about that? It's about damn time. I know, huh? <laughs> now, I just wonder, my old remote, 
to my Vizio turned on both the Element TV and the Vizio TV. Now I'm wondering if I turn this off. Nope, it didn't. So now I'm back to two remotes. That's okay. I'll have to figure out if I can pair the two of them together, which I didn't do with the Vizio at all, honestly. I just one day hit the power button and both of them come on. So this was cool. This is absolutely cool. I really hope tomorrow night goes halfway, half, 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 halfway, halfway as good as tonight did because that would just be fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is, I, I did that in 27 minutes, it looks like. That's pretty good. I'm going to turn off the fish cam. Well, if you send me a $50 check, I'll make sure it goes good. <laughs> And then I'm going to actually leave that where it's at and deactivate the fish cam. I don't need it. It should come back on. Why didn't it come back on? There we go. I'll deactivate it. Same difference. Then I will jump back over to... Uh, thank you, Ski Man, main YouTube Zoom. And oh, wow. Check that out. I got lucky in camera placement. That looks halfway good. When did Alex Cheek join us? A few, a couple minutes ago. Okay, now wait a minute. It doesn't look right on. It looks right on OBS, hey, um, but it looks horrible on YouTube. What happened? Go ahead, uh, Josh. You had a question. No, I have had it out. Hi, Josh. I never oh. heard the bell, and I know I turned um, the bell on. Ian, I do it tell you something that why I am proud of Josh. I'm proud of Josh and Aunt Mary today because they both agreed with me on something. Let me wait. Hold on. I got a Karnak moment. They're going to keep the new computer that I'm repairing at Aunt Mary's, and he's going to take the nuke back to the group home. How close to me? How close am I? 100% perfect. I, if I could just get them damn lottery numbers now, that'd be amazing. All right. Um, I don't know where Zoom's at. I'm, I'm looking. There's Zoom. And I still don't understand. Uh-oh. Now, I got an issue. I knew I got too excited. So, monitor two works, monitor three works, monitor four works. Guess what is not working? Monitor number one is not working. Do I need to restart my system for that to be recognized as a monitor, even though it's showing Ken Stout live? Don't everybody answer that at one time, please. Take 35 or 40 seconds to think you about it. You should be able to go in your uh, settings for your monitors and tell it to detect. Yeah, I can't get the mouse over there on that monitor. It just zips right through it. So hang on. Um, yeah, I can. I would refocus the fifth one because when I did mine, I had to refocus it. Or you can just hit the Windows key and P and until it to turn off all your other monitors and re re extend them so they'll all. Well, well, I don't need to do on. that at all because I'm in display. I hit identify and identifies the monitor that's above me or in front of me as monitor number one. So I'm confused as to what's going on. So we're back to that. If I hit identify, you can see right there it says one so it's the system sees that it's there if i didn't have that oh wait a minute uh do i need to maybe put that there nope it's still skipping right through it uh let's go with apply and nope it's still oh there we go yay Look, Ken figured something out technically on his own. You can send me the payment, Alex. I appreciate that. The only thing I do have to figure out is Zoom, for some reason, now seems to be 
having a mind of its own and that I don't know where it's at. That's amazing. I saw it on your, you're looking for your mouse? No, I got the mouse. The mouse is right here. Um, if I go into here, like this is not going to work. If I turn my icons on, on that then monitor. apparently my icons are now scattered all over one monitor. No, I was trying to find actually Zoom itself. I have it minimized for some reason. Now I should be able to bring Zoom over here like that. And that's fine. I will obviously have to go through some adjustments on this. Um, you want my cat to cut the light for you? Ho, 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 humor. No, I do not. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. I appreciate that. All right. So now... I'll turn the fish cam off, which that's my fish cam when I run the, the, uh, the aquarium. So we see Zoom is on the 43 inch. It looks really good. I'm happy. I like it. Money well spent. Now I will go back into OBS, deactivate the fish cam, go back to my scene for YouTube Zoom, and there we go looking better except for now on OBS it looks pretty close to right but on I'm watching my monitoring screen and it looks just totally messed up that's can anyone verify that for me please did you select PC or TV it looks good to me I don't think I had that option but I selected TV <clears throat> I'll check that out later or it might be called computer. Yeah. Um, Greg just wants that fish cam to stay on all the time, don't he? I think I thought the only time you had an option for PC was if it had VGA. But um, I'm not. I got sure. TV, HDMI, AV, or USB for photos. That's just my only on sources. Do what, Sam? Say so just keep it on the HDMI. I yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing with that. Logdog says you might have to go into monitor settings and look for an adjustment for the resolution. Um, Probably. Maybe, but that why why does it look proper on OBS, but it, it's it's coming across funky on my monitoring screen? Now it could be it just could just be my monitoring screen. I don't know. Now it's black on YouTube. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, because I switched between scenes. Uh, yeah. So, looks fine on YouTube. I don't. Know what? what okay, so what I'm seeing on YouTube is Zoom is good. My pictures of the grandchildren are good. The clock is only got Mike, Mimi, William, Stealth Mode, Roy, John, Johns, Jose, Doug, Brian, Long, Martin, John, Paul, and George. That's all I see. I'm yeah. not seeing yeah. the, the rest of it. Yep. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah. Uh, so why did the uh, clock is uh, upset? So why did changing the monitor affect how? And it looks fine in OBS. That's what's got me perplexed. Why did changing the monitor make that happen? To change the default resolution. Remember we messed with that the one time before or whatever. In Windows settings display, or yeah, Windows display settings. So that's affecting a oh. monitor. I think so. Yeah. Was the change the size of text apps and other items? It may have set the zoom the scale. Remember, we messed with that the scale in, in Windows settings. Okay, so um, as soon as this catches up, why is this not catching? I'm sharing my screen. Okay, I'm about to really get frustrated here. Bear with me. Um, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Is it this one? Okay, this is interesting. 
Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wonderful. Hang on. I have to go find my shops. Stop sharing my screen. Share my screen. I want monitor number. According to Zoom, I want to share monitor number three. So let's do a test. I'm going to share monitor number one. You guys tell me what you see on Zoom. The clocks. Okay, so that's Good correct. Things. Now let me go figure out why over here. Yeah, they're going to have to do something because every time I bring something over, it's like wanting to go super huge on me. Um, okay, there we go. Da Vinci. Wow, I would have never thought this would have been an issue. Da Vinci camera. Uh, is it changing on here? Does it look like it is? Display. You guys are still seeing the cam the uh, cameras. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Yep. No. OBS already recognizes NS-43N101 NA24 1280 by 720. Okay, so that tells me that's what the resolution's got to be set to. You still seeing the cameras? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know what that reset button is down there at the bottom, but I'm going to stop sharing that, reshare my screen, Reshare this. Now tell me what you're seeing. Let's say the uh, OBS. Is right. Brain. So you are see right. So now you're seeing OBS. So I'm going to move it out of the way. Now you should be seeing. Everybody should be seeing my background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. Now let's go back to. Let's stop sharing my screen. Go back over to there. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out why the clocks are all screwy. I'll have to do that when I get back because I am out of here in about two minutes. I will leave the stream running. You guys are going to have to bear in mind it is being live streamed, your conversation. Only yeah. only if you want me to do that. If you don't want me to do that, I'll start a second stream when I get back in a little bit. It matters not to me one way or the other. I can do either or. Just leave it. Just leave it. We can monitor ourselves. <laughs> we're, we're all over 18. Do I look like I was born yesterday? We can monitor ourselves. <laughs> Understatement of the millennium right there we can monitor ourselves all right i'm gonna hit this full screen and see what happens over on the stream with the clocks oh it got smaller yeah this is interesting every so if it was a resolution thing i would say the two pictures of my grandchildren and zoom would be affected they're not they look perfect so why is oh you know what no I mean, I know. I think I know how to fix it. Got to be the monitor scaling, almost. I think maybe could be wrong though. Well, I'm gonna try something, and if this doesn't work, then we'll do it when I get back. Um. Uh, well, that's that's interesting. Somebody well, started I'm to say a, something. I'm assuming the monitor the t the. T new tv that you just got is only uh 1280 by 720. that's what it says no. yes no it's set to that it is, we haven't tested the max resolution yet alex we haven't gotten that far so just chill
There we go. Now the clock's changed. That's not what I want, but they changed. That's a start. They take up the entire screen across the top now. Yeah. Kind of cool. Let's see what this does. Yeah, I'll deal with this when I get back. For now, I'm going to just disable the clocks in OBS and therefore they won't be there. Um, because I it don't I, I honestly don't know. Well, well, I'm sure we, you guys, will figure it out. I have no doubt of that in my mind, actually. Um, I need a volunteer to be host. Don't everybody jump don't at care. once. I don't care. Um, I guess. All right, we have a grumpy host now. I can't wait to get back and see everybody in the waiting room. I'll probably get four or five texts from people. Let me in. And again, don't send me texts if you're in the waiting room, because especially last night, I'm busy. I'm not paying attention to anything. Just go in there, rearrange it, make it look how you want, and be happy. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> last time I checked, you, know, you can't rearrange nothing. We, we joke about that, but that's actually happened in the past where uh, someone has become the host and they're asleep and people get in, people try to get in and they can't, and I got to run. I'm already running a little bit late. So uh, remember, live streaming, family friendly. Uh, if you don't know who someone is, don't let them in. I'll go catch up with chat later. That went way better than I thought it would. I really hope tomorrow night that when we work on that thing right there, it goes just as smooth, honestly. That it will be... if you send me the $50 check. Oh, is that what it takes? Okay. Um, so I'm not even going to take this monstrosity of a TV out. I am actually going to wait and possibly ask for help. What I'm trying to find right now is my damn water bottle. Oh, good Lord, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Yeah, let's put a background on that. There we go. All right, guys, I'll be back as quickly as I can be. I'm out of here to pick up Mrs. K. I'll see you in a few minutes, probably about a half hour or so. It'll depend on if she gets out on time. If she gets out on time at 10 o'clock, we'll be home 10 15. If she's running late, Wow, imagine that, Mrs. K running late. I'll be back. I'm, oh. set, I'm setting oh. my timer. I'm setting my set it timer. For, set it for 37 and a half minutes, please. I can't hear All you. Right. I took out my earbuds. Uh, let's see. So, what's everybody been up to today other than watching Ken set up his new TV? Not too much today. You hear anything new? Not not today. I wasn't expecting to hear anything today because it's holiday, but not today. I'm still waiting to hear from that one job I applied for over the weekend a couple of days a couple of days ago. Yeah, give them some time. You probably just before the uh Labor Day, so You don't know how many yet cages they had to go through, or have to go through, whenever the cutoff date is. Well, on this on this one, I'm not sure. They didn't say when when the cutoff date is. I'm not 
I'm not sure. I say at least give him three or four weeks, maybe, before you start to worry about it. But hey, on the bright side, I've noticed my, I've noticed my, my, my unlisted video that I put on my resume has gotten a couple, a couple more views over the past few days. So, so, so some, so hopefully, some job is looking at it. You need to learn Da Vinci now to put that down on your resume. No, I don't. I don't think I want to do that. Um. What? But Williams tell me I need to learn Da Vinci to put it on my resume. Oh. Uh, uh. Do that. You can do that for me, Josh. I've never filled out a resume in my life. No, I mean learn Da Vinci. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm lucky if I pop in every now and again. When do you say her, when do you say your aunt's, your aunt's TV was going to be delivered Thursday? What that? When did you say your aunt's TV was going to be delivered Thursday? I think, well, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to be delivered on the problem. Uh, seventh, yeah, Thursday. I need a wipe. Well, what we can go. Well, nothing really interesting has happened today or on my house. Just you think the two hundred dollars would be on me? Can you see it? Um, I think so. Maybe. I mean, anything will be putting it on. Anything's better than putting it on carpet. Uh, I would I would not put it on carpet. Yeah, it just a wooden board. It came with the dust. Can you not see it that well? You want me to I, I, I can see it. Yeah. I just don't know exactly how big. I don't remember, I don't remember exactly how big the bottom yeah. of the. It's probably about is. the same as the standard mini ATX mini any. Micro T ATX case. Now, where, where, where is this? You think of a bit on here? Hang on a second. Let me give you a measurement, but a standard. Uh, let's see. About seven and a half. By, uh, yeah, say seven and a half by 18 feet around that range for a standard mini tower for an ATM. Well, with this, I can put my whole hand across it and it goes all the way across. Like I can put my whole arm across and it cover the majority of the board. I don't see why it wouldn't fit on it. I just want to make sure. Cool. 
Go back long to the long as this the feet of the case sit on it, you'd be to be okay. Cause that's the only thing we have that it would fit on. My aunt being the thing that it won't fit on the file cabinet. She being the thing that the file cabinet might be too heavy for it. It might be too heavy. File cabinet you're talking about? Yeah, we have a, a, a we have a file cabinet. And I'm thinking that the file cabinet might be better for it than fitting it on a piece of wood. Are you at that uh, little table you showed last night? What that? You showed that little table last night. No, that little table come home with me. I'm talking about, hold on. Eight. Over here, behind the corner, we have a file cabinet. He doesn't want to put the two hundred dollars on that file cabinet, but he doesn't think that the two hundred the file cabinet would would hold the two hundred dollars. I think it would. Josh, the, the depth of the case if, if be a possibly 18 inches if it, if it was the same as any standard uh, mini mini ATX, which is about that right there. But it's a full-size ATX because we're putting a, a full-size ATX. Right, but the, the ATX power uh, chassis. But that board would be an up there. In fact, this holds a full ATX size motherboard. That's what's in it right now. Right. But this is just a physical size to the length, depth of the case. It's about 18 inches. Right. This is about 18 inches on tape measure. Right. So I don't see any reason why it wouldn't fit on that piece of wood. I don't want to put it on the floor, because if you put it on the floor, you then you, you, know, you got yourself one hell of a vacuum cleaner because of the, um, the uh, fighting bit on the bottom. Is, that, um, is he getting a new case? No. no. Yeah, one hell of a vacuum cleaner because you got the, the filter. I thought the uh, RT, the Corsair 200R was like a mini ATX, mini TA, mini ATX case. It's a full size ATX case. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to put a full-size ATX motherboard in it. Mint. You could put uh, either one. Instead of saying many mint, is what I mean, mint. Instead of being this deep, the mint are only about this. They're, they hold a full ATX, but they're maybe a little taller. They don't make, they don't make those no more, but I have seen some I think it's 300 R or something. This, I think it's a new version of it. All right, let's see. And Be Quiet makes a case almost like 200 R. 
Has has the letters be quiet on the R two hundred. I wouldn't like that. Ace. Be quiet on the um front of the case. I have a Corsair. Uh, I have a four thousand X. All right, you got to convert this. Four hundred and ninety seven millimeter by two hundred and ten millimeter by four hundred and thirty millimeter. Four nine seven millimeter, two inches. Okay, that must be the height, which would be to be about the same as this of. Oh uh, yeah, open up. But we're gonna put it right underneath the door. Okay, the case is. Seven nineteen point five six six nine nine inches. That's probably the height. Now the next one is two ten. Which would be eight point two six seven seven two inches. Which would be the to be the width. Four thirty. 16.9291, probably the, the depth of it. That's the size of the 200R case. Okay. So it would be on that block, that block of wood. It's going to be roughly 8.6 inches wide and about maybe 16, 17 inches, inches deep. It all depends on where the feet fall on the case where it hits the board. Yeah. A little probably, but. I mean, I, I mean, worst case scenario is y'all can run into the one of the one of the hardware store when Ken gets there and, and you can pick up another piece of wood. That you put it on a book or anything else. Because that's the only way you'll that's the only way you'll really know is when he brings the computer. And he tries to put it where you want to put it. Yeah. The only thing I got living on the floor, as far as my computer system goes, is a subwoofer. But the floor doesn't hurt any.
You have carpet, William? Do I no, have carpet? The, yeah. It's on a wood floor. It's on a wood floor. But the power subwoofer, so it has no uh, air intakes. It pulls air in front of the cone and pushes out the cone. Where it can go? You got to take up make the guy. Yeah. Alex, you ever seen a Bose uh, power subwoofer? Bose. Yeah, I probably have. Um, they those some of these some of these concerts like go to some of these singing groups have some really powerful equipment like like that like some of them that I, like some of them that I've seen they have two they all have. Quite a few of them have Bose uh, sound systems, and they have like the really tall like speakers in the back, and then they have like two what I assume is two subwoofers sitting down sitting down on the ground. Um. So yes. What the hell um, about booming noise that I keep hearing? Sounds like power to something. Uh, you can't God, hear it. Language. You too. I can't hear it, Josh. No, you wouldn't be able to hear it. Josh, you need to monitor yourself. With that? I said you need to monitor yourself. Wouldn't it be funny if we had a had a bleep button on on here? No, we, I don't need a mobile monitor clip. We'll be feeling it monitor. He don't get it. <laughs> You don't get it. Language, just your language. Oh. Uh, I didn't get it at all. No. He didn't pick up what Greg said earlier. Uh well, this one is said, a little different than normal rooms. It's on a floating floor, more or less. I can barely, I can barely use a sound bar in this room. I, I'd never be able to get away with a, with a, a big old using a sound using a big old speaker system with a subwoofer because the, because uh, since all the since all the floors in this house are hardwood, the uh, yeah and tile sound carries. So. Alex, whenever I was in uh, Warren Springs, there was this guy next door in, in the dorm. Next, he was my neighbor next door. He had a stereo system. I, we was on the fifth floor, the top floor, and uh, he had a stereo system. One day he cranked it up so loud you could hear it all the way on the first floor. That was a loud. He made. He had a lot of speakers. Like homemade speakers for it, yeah. but they were big. They kind of go in a car, but he had it on his stereo system for the home. Chris, it sounded like this system would fit right along his because it pushed out maybe two hundred ten watts. Yeah, th those were powerful systems back in the day. I don't think they make anything that good these days. Because this floor actually floats above the concrete floor. It's two by tens on edge with tar paper between the two by fours and the uh, concrete. And they're not nailed into the side, the brick walls are next to.
and a double layer of uh, three quarter plywood on it. Which we had no floor on it, but tell you how to get the, to the Daytona Speedway. Uh, Seating. There's one chair, if you sit in the corner chair while you play music, it vibrates the chair. It, at a, even at a very low volume. Oh, I thought the thing was over. We're still no. broadcasting out of YouTube. Yeah, you All right, Ken, this lefty be back about a half hour. Yes, Josh. If it goes to schedule. Zippy is the other thing. There's a member on the phone. He's like, you have to end it. I wonder who made this closet from Vendor. What kind of deal are you going to woman have ironing clothes and cleaning strangers' toilets? The female automatically ended on the phone. We're live streaming, Josh. Yes. Yeah, let's Well, if they're right about what the uh, who is it? Hey, Rick. How you doing? What do you think? Hello. What's up? Yeah, not much. How you doing? Yeah, pretty good. It's been hot here. We were 100 degrees yesterday and 96 today. Yeah, done in the humble. It's been oh. in the Ninety people. It's been cooler here than it was there. Yep, we're we've we've been hot the last couple of days. <laughs> Man, I was out biking yesterday and out biking a little bit today. Oh, it's too hot. Like the dog days of summer. Mm -hmm. I think we almost passed that. What they call, uh, Everything else. what they used to call Indian summer. That's in now it's box. Okay, just want to let you know. You can, you can go to bed when you want to. I'm going to sit up for a few minutes.
guys like that need to know that there's consequences for their actions. They need to learn that, that, that women are people with feelings. They're not just vaginas to talk. Thank you. We need to teach Mr. Wiedermeyer a lesson. What you happen, Greg? No, really, I, I am close. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Yes. Two and a half men. Good TV, though. I like that show. I didn't necessarily like it when uh, the new character was Charlie took over, but I like the old. I like the old rerun. Uh, Mr. Wiener, Ken's on his way back. Yeah. Are you watching it with Walden or are you watching it with the original? Ah, uh, this is the original. Okay. I I didn't like the uh when Walden took it over. I didn't like it. I liked the original. The original for all you better. When they try and redo them, yeah, they don't really do a good job. I don't know why I have my Bluetooth on, but it couldn't be on. We're a very talkative bunch when Ken's not around, aren't we? What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you want to know what I did today? Mow your yard. I my flowers. It was 93 and humid, and I came back in and took a nap. Mm -hmm. And you were going to say you probably mowed your yard and slept. No. Too hot out. It was 93 today. We can always start the bench lessons for you. I thought the hour about five today. Yeah. This morning, about one o'clock, I heard the dog barking outside, and then I texted my mom and said, We got we got dog barking outside. She said, No, we don't. They're inside. I said, Yes, we do. We have dogs barking outside. Go go check it. Lo and behold, I was right. One of her, she has left one of our dogs outside. And if I hadn't said anything, it would have been at stayed outside all night. Wouldn't have heard them. They would have just whined and barked the whole night. Because <laughs> they're they're in they're little they're little inside dogs. Probably would not would hurt, but if they're inside dogs, I wouldn't. Keep them out all the time. They'll get sick. Mm -hmm. I, gotta, I gotta get up early in the morning. I gotta get off here around 11.30. I gotta be up by quarter to eight. Gotta make up that, gotta make up that day. Gotta make up that work day you missed. <laughs> so today being a holiday, huh, Rick? Yeah. Thank 
Boy, we're talking of tonight. <laughs> Well, I may be going to a funeral this week. I don't, I don't know, don't know yet. That doesn't sound like any fun. Not sure if you're going, or not sure if the person is going to make it. I'm not sure if we're going. Mm. Not sure if I'm going. Should I say? I'm pretty sure my mom's going by. If I'm going. Stop the timer. There it is. You're two minutes late. Well, I stopped to get gas. Well, our entertainment is now back. Well, if you wanted gas, I could have supplied some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing that uh, when I'm here and trying to talk, you get interrupted. I'm not going to mention names or anything. And then when I say, hey, run the show while I'm gone, nobody says a word. <laughs> what the hell? It's funny, isn't it? You're the glue that holds us together. I mean, uh, somebody actually said, well, we don't say a lot when Ken's not here. I don't remember who that was. All right, back to the issue at hand. Let me go look at chat real quick, see if there's anything of importance in there. <laughs> I'm with you, Ski Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how do I want to do this? We want to figure out why the clocks are not showing up properly on YouTube. So I'm going to start the clocks again. Actually, I think I want to do this a different way. Well, first, let's try the resolution. So let's set the resolution. Now, when we say the resolution, we're talking about the resolution on this new monitor, correct? Yes. Right. Okay. Scaling. So let me move this over here. Right click, and that's in display settings or personalize. Home. Display settings. System. Display. Home system display. Yeah, I'm there. And. and layout. Click on number one to identify that I'm on the first monitor. Uh, change the size of text, apps, and other items. It says it's a 150. I'll leave that there. Display okay. resolution. Nope. Would we say this was 20? That can set the. That's the problem right there. Is it set at 150? Set it to 100. Well, that's not the problem though, Sam, because my clocks are on my 22 inch monitor as they have been from like practically forever. My monitoring screen is over on that, and my OBS is on my other 22-inch screen. But I'll, I'll try that. Does anyone remember what the resolution was? Yeah, it was 12, 12, 1280. I believe so. 1287, 20, wasn't it? Yeah. Let me try that. What was it, 960? Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We, get, we can mess with it. Um, do that. And that did not change the box as I anticipated it would not because the way I have this set up. So that's not the issue. Now, if I were to move the clocks over to this monitor, that might change something. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring OBS over here to in front of me. I'm going to turn off Zoom. I'm going to turn off the QR code, the text, and as soon as I find them, the pictures. Uh, 
Okay, that's interesting. Email I can turn off with Stream Deck. I thought maybe I cannot. My system been restarted since. <laughs> that's interesting. All right, let's just turn off email as well. Now I can't find my two photos I have running on the side, which that's really interesting. Oh, there we go. Image, image. All right. So the only thing showing now is, is I'll let YouTube catch up to me. The only thing showing yeah. on there is the clocks and then we'll put it back to 1080 on YouTube. Then I'm going to go over to the clock monitor i'm going to grab the edge and i'm going to bring it down and there it's there okay so that now i'm not sure what the what this blue dot in the middle of the clock is i've never seen that before Long dog says chat got split up. The guys on Zoom were seeing us here on YouTube. Yeah, the Zoom should have been going out over the stream. I could go back and rewind it and see. Um, Ski Man says he's got to head out. All right, Ski Man, thank you. Yeah, I was. Well, I was better. watching it the entire time. It it was going. At, the Zoom was working when you were not here. All right, so when I move it back up there where it's supposed to be, it's like that. Now let me go change this and see what happens. Yeah, this is odd that changing the monitor has affected somehow OBS and the 222s and my 40-inch monitor. That is crazy. Almost inclined to plug the other one back in and see if it reverts back just to kind of theorize what may or may not be going on. Ah. So if I make it full screen, okay, it's full screen. Let's see what it does over here on OBS. And it goes like that. Now, if I bring this down, is that going to show the clocks? It does. All right, now let's unfull screen it. That's the technical term, by the way. All right, that looks about like I want it to right there. That's sort of kind of close to the way it used to be. I don't know what that little blue square is, though. This is interesting. Now, I'm just going to barely bring this up to right there. Eh, Richard's about gone. Oh, I, have, Richard, Richard. I have a suggestion, Ken. Sure. Try refreshing that page or reloading it. It is, it is in a browser. It is a browser, yeah. I would attempt maybe that blue square is some kind of artifact on the page. I don't know what it is. When I refreshed it, it looks like it went away. Yep, it goes away. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. All right, so now I got a little bit too much space there, so I'm gonna bring this down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna go grab the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good right there from what I'm seeing on YouTube. Now I'm just going to go back and put it at the top where it's supposed to be. And when I do that, when I put this back at the top, it goes away. That is crazy. On OBS, this is back in its original position. And you can see what it does. It takes it down to Stealth Mode, Sam, Wintermute, and Richard. I do not understand that. 
I do not understand that. All right, and now they're too low. Well, that rotates them. <laughs> That's funny. I don't clearly don't want to rotate them, do I? I want them to go up just a little bit. I don't think they moved. Um, here we go. Hey, there is a new subscriber. Hello. I don't have any clue how to say your name. So, um, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I think it's Leon. Ari, Ari, Ola, Arola. I don't know. I'm ho I'm horrible with names. So I'm going to leave that right there for right now. And I'm going to start turning things back on just to see what's going to happen here. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work uh, by what I'm seeing in OBS. Oh, gosh, no, that's not going to work because now I'm missing about a half inch off the top. But if I try to move it up, then that's not good. Babe, come here a minute. Oh, yeah. I need you to pronounce this name for me, please. Right here. Leone. Leone? Uh-huh. Leone, my Leone. Filipino wife, Mrs. K, as you all know, has said the name is pronounced Leone. Leone. So. Yes, shout out to her. I did. I shouted out, but I oh. didn't know how to shout oh, out her name. So I tried to, I butchered it. I mean. Yes, Leone. This is why you need to join a screen, stream. Mm -hmm. That way things don't get butchered. Yeah. Say, tell her hi. <laughs> I'm busy. You want me to make a tea? Yes. Okay. I want you to say hi. Say hi to Leone. You just, you just write it. Huh? I'll have to say something. There's the camera. Okay. Hello. Leone Ariola. See the waving Where hand by under her other. That looks good. Also, I'm trying to get the clocks to fix because mm -hmm. somehow when I put this monitor mm -hmm. in place of that monitor, mm -hmm. the clocks went goofy. Is that your new one? That is the new one. Do you not see the big one over there on the floor? Look, right, look what's that on the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I got Zoom back, but as you can see, that takes precedence over the clocks. So I don't know. This is weird. I mean, very weird. Nothing else changed. The only thing that changed was the clocks, and they're on their own little separate monitor. Now, hmm. I could do this. I can move them over off that monitor onto the new monitor. And we'll see what that does. And since it's a web page, it should. I don't the, understand how your OBS and stuff works. But well, see, here's another interesting thing in that the um, I don't really want to change Zoom. But I guess I have no choice to but to change Zoom to see if I can do this. So if I lower Zoom down to here and then bring Zoom down to here and then go back to the clocks. It's just layers, Jeff. You just have to think of things of being in layers. Well, no, it. I get that. But how do you pull layers from more than one monitor in? I have scenes ident or sources identified as more than one monitor. Okay. Yep. And in this case, Zoom is pulling the Zoom application off of the web, as is the clocks. And this is just super weird. I've got the clocks in front of me now. I could start the fish cam. You guys would see that they're actually in front of me on the new monitor. Um, I have an idea. Yeah, go ahead, Jim. Nope, it's me, Sam. I uh, said yes, go ahead, Sam. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think maybe the scene, you just gave me that that clue when you said that. I think that that ca window capture needs to be refreshed also since you've installed the new monitor. 
Well, I can try that, but I don't want to sound as bad as it's going to. I don't see how the new monitor would affect anything that was already established, but I can give it a shot. I don't know either, but I... At this point in time, we got nothing to lose, right? <laughs> right. Oh, Where look, look. Oh, doggone. I thought there for a second. All right, I'm going to throw it back on the old monitor. And it's going to go back to really weird looking because maybe not what should have. All right. So you're saying in OBS, go to the real world box. Um, I don't want to sound silly. How do I refresh it in OBS? Because I have no idea. Uh, hang on. I don't. Other, I mean, just shy of turning it off and turning it on. I uh, to, okay, I got an idea. Sure. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go into properties. Let's go into the window. Let's grab the Zoom meeting. And see if that changed to Zoom. And it did. We have two Zooms. We have the Zoom where the clocks are at. And we have the zoom where zoom is at. So that looks correct. Um, so that's good. That That's good. That means that's working. So now I'm going to go back into the properties. I'm going to go back over and grab the clocks. And multiple clocks. And I'm going to hit OK. And basically, it looks about the same. On the monitor, I see everyone's name. On YouTube, I'm only seeing down to Mike, John, John's, Doug, and John. So I'm going to bring this down. Yeah, something weird's actually going on. I don't know what it is. I'm going to do something really stupid now. I'm going to transform it to fit the screen. And it did. It's in. It's now in the background, which looks okay, except we can't see anyone's names. Now, I'm going to grab a corner and shrink it. Bring it over. See, when I go to the top, I can't. I don't know how to explain this. Everything looks fine except the clocks. Everything on my monitoring on YouTube looks fine. The clocks are screwed up. The clocks are not like they should be. And I don't quite follow why that would be. The only other thing I can think of is maybe something with a browser. I don't I don't know. I've got an idea. Um Thanks, everyone, for being here on the stream. I'm going to try to do a DaVinci tomorrow. I've got something I want to share on DaVinci. I find it to be very interesting. I've just got to figure out application for it, and eventually I will. I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. One Fish, 26, Leone, Long Dog, Ski Man. Uh, I'm just going through chat. Great guy was there. He was the host, and he's playing two and a half men. Um you're a horrible host, Greg. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Horrible hosts. Is that, wow, enough, re is that enough recognition for you? <laughs> I'm going to restart my system. I will not be back on uh, the stream. I will be back on Zoom. And then again, maybe I do have to stream so I can see if this is going to fix the problem or not. But thanks, everyone. New monitors in place. Fingers are crossed that tomorrow night we have the same success with Josh Kinder's new motherboard and processors that'll be here sometime tomorrow. And I'm going to do a Doug Betts. Oh, my taskbar moved over. That's what it is. The taskbar moved. It's got it, the, the universe is all out of whack. I, I 